Hi everybody and welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast. This is a walking tour of Lytham Town Centre. So we've just come off the seafront. The windmill is just over there. We're on Station Road and we're going down Clifton Street and we're going to walk through the town centre and just take a look at what's known as Leafy Lytham because it's a lovely little town and it's full of independent stores um, some high street names but it's a it's a really nice little shopping centre and well used not only by the people that live here but also by um, visitors as well popular destinations so this is St Peter's Church and look at that for a gate it's beautiful and there are usually flowers at the front of it it's a really really pretty attractive <coughs> church so there's plenty of plenty of places to eat and drink plenty of cafes plenty of restaurants plenty of places where you can sit outside and have a nice cup of coffee on the pavement and at this end of the high street it tapers off into residential properties um, and it, the, the town is, is full of these beautiful little cottages and nice gardens and trees and you can see why it's called Leafy Lytham, look at all the trees. <laughs> it's unusual to see trees at the coast. Just shows that they do, they do live and that underneath there is Lytham Library as was before all the rationalisation of libraries a, a few years ago. St Anne's Library is still open. So that shop sells, that shop's fascinating actually, they sell, um, oh what's the word for it, things for your house, um, I, like an, not like an ironmongers but sort of tablecloths and floor mats and all that kind of stuff. Rooms are nice gift shop that sells ladies clothes and all kinds of different things and there's a super duper shoe shop on this side not that I've got a thing for shoes don't get me wrong it's like autumn I know it's been windy but it's strange to see the um, leaves dropping off the trees Cafe Nero here, ice cream parlour, and there's your Forsyth that used to be in Cleveland. Plenty of places to sit and have a coffee. You can have the one in the shade or one in the sun. This is one of three videos that we're making this morning in Lytham. These, these side roads all join back to the seafront and the green so that's one of the um, I'm just trying to see which one it is can't quite see which one it is but that's one of the buildings on the seafront and as I said this is one of three videos that we're making this morning so we've, we've, we've just been for a walk along the green and looked at the seafront and the estuary and the windmill and now we're just going to take a walk along the town centre that's an interesting little arcade that one there Clifton Arcade yeah. um, and that's full of little little independent shops um, there you go, more coffee shops. Good, good vegetable shop here. Good quality of second hand goods in the charity shops. And here's the shoe shop. A woman can never have too many shoes, but I am going to be virtuous and walk straight past it. Which is not like me at all, I must say. 
that looks nice. I like the um, lights under there, they look lovely. Pretty. So the town centre runs parallel to the green. And then at this end is Clifton Square. <coughs> There's usually an ice cream man here selling um, cornets from a from an ice cream bike. But I would imagine in the current circumstances it's probably probably not. This is the old NatWest Bank on the corner. It's been turned into a, a bar. It's rather posh, isn't it? Very nice. And this is Clifton Square. So like I said, there's usually a, an ice cream man here. And on this corner, in fact, I'll, I'll just pop down here and show you. On this corner, there's the Lytham assembly room. So we're, we're heading back in the direction again of the beach and the promenade. So on this side is Lytham Heritage Centre in this building. That's that's closed, unfortunately. Um, but that's, that's an interesting one. And then on the left, on the last corner, of the green is the assembly rooms which is a beautiful building and worth, worth just a little digression for a look I think there you go so that's the assembly rooms oh and, and Lytham Library is in here now when I said that the library was closed at the back of my mind I thought and it's open somewhere else but I can't remember where <coughs> goodness it's a stiff breeze getting up so if you've watched our other Lytham videos on the Visit File Coast YouTube channel you'll have seen that we've just done a walk along the seafront to the windmill so this is the front of the assembly rooms. So you can see how near the town centre is to the seafront. So it's a nice compact place to come and explore and have a have a day out. So we're off back in the direction of Clifton Square now and there's just one or two other things that I need to point out when we get a bit further up here because this is a, 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 a sort of a turning point and one side goes to Lather Gardens and another side goes to Lytham Hall so I'll just, I'll just show you which is which. And all these planters and, and flowers and everything are all done by Lytham in Bloom and they usually have a big, in fact they look like they're watering now, they usually have a big windmill here made out of plants which is really lovely. There's, a, there's an article about it on our Visit Lytham website. So it's usually where these, these tubs are in the middle there, there's two of the to other volunteers there look watering and deadheading. So you go up there to Lytham Hall, that way, and you go this way to Lowther Gardens. Round this, round this corner and down there, along here. So the shops continue a little way down here. And this is Clifton Square, which is also maintained by the Lytham and Bloom team. Let's just cross the road without getting flattened. And I'll just 
I'll just show you this beautiful display because the plants in Lytham always look beautiful. There is absolute credit to them. Look at that for a just look at that for a, a, a beautiful sight. It's gorgeous, and you can see that the shops continue down there slightly. So that's the road that takes you down to Lowther Gardens, which is where we're going to go in a moment for video number three today. So this is Clifton Square, and that's I believe it's the old marketplace building, which is now shops and offices. There you go. So that pretty much concludes our walking tour of Lytham Town Centre for today. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, give it a like. Make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. And then you'll get notifications if you hit the bell for alerts. You'll get notifications when new videos are uploaded. And subscribe for our weekly mail newsletter as well. And then you'll know, you'll know all the information about what's happening in this area. So from a lovely sunny autumnal Lytham town centre, you'll take care and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.